welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial today we are going to design a simple geared fidget spinner in SOLIDWORKS I hope you like it here we will make each and every part and assemble at the end and we will make a little animation also I hope you like it so let's start to create this simple animation Now here let's make the first part of fidget gear spinner first gear so let me choose with top plane a sketch select here circle and draw two circles and let me draw a center line also exit choose this line construction geometry and make one more relation vertical it's vertical already it's no let's define uh, let me draw one more line this is the gear face we will make one relation select both the end point and center line and make relation symmetric you can see here symmetric okay let's define outer one 30 millimeter and inner one 24 millimeter two millimeter and the distance from center it's 20 millimeter now choose your three point arc draw an arc exit mirror entity choose mirror and select copy here and mirror about select this vertical line or construction line okay now it is mirrored let's define this one also keep radius 10 millimeter and let's make the gap 5.35 millimeter okay so this is your exact shape of our gear choose here okay let's we want to make multiple number of patterns so choose these three gears gear profiles select here circular sketch pattern now you can see the center point is already selected in parameters in entities these three lines or arc selected now keep angle 360 degree and uh, equal spacing and here number of patterns let's make 12 see okay trim entity it's time to choose power trim place and drag drag it will aut automatically cut that's it so this is your simple gear okay it is fully defined so simply extrude and extrude keep mid plane and keep the thickness 8 millimeter that's enough okay that's it let's define the material color go to appearance color metal bronze or brass let's give some so let's save this one go to desktop and this is first part or directly select gear 1 gear 1 first create a folder fidget spinner save now the 
second gear we will create with the help of first gear simply we will do some editing sketch edit sketch take the normal position and this inside one we will make a smaller make 8 millimeter look exit now see now this one click save as gear 2 now let's make the top cover for this gear now the third part is top cover top and bottom cover the same cover we will use for top as well as bottom so let's start with top plane and uh, okay let's draw a circle select here center line vertical and horizontal center line make sure it is horizontal and it is vertical it's time to define but let's start with here 24 by uh, 26 by 24 millimeter this is the internal and outer diameter and here 22 by 8 millimeter and the mid gap we will keep 37 millimeter okay now select here line collect from here to here exit now select this line and okay this already tangent here so it's no need uh, choose your offset entity keep 5 millimeter select this line it should be inside okay mirror entity now select both the lines and copy and choose mirror about you can see here okay that's it power trim and choose trim that's it let's check this 5 millimeter now it is also fully defined now it's time to mirror this entity to opposite side so choose your mirror entity and select this all and mirror about this vertical geometry or vert vertical construction line select ok now see it's mirror take dimension out choose your trim entity and let's try to trim some portion this one and here uh, that's fine now extrude we need to extrude select here select this face mid plane and keep thickness 5 millimeter okay now look let me define raw material steel polished steel this looks better now that's we will go for polished steel and we have one more option nickel polished nickel but it's quite dark this one we will keep it top position so let's choose here fillet 4 millimeter and select the inside edge once you select inside edge it will ask you see connect to start internal loop 7 8 edges so select here and choose ok now see this all are selected now the same way we will choose your chamfer 1 by 45 degree and I will choose this corner 
and this corner okay now look let's let me save this one top cover that's it now let's make the top co cover top plane circle draw here two circles outer one keep 26 mm and inner one is the same 8 mm and extrude extrude up to 5 mm okay now let's define select the default parts polished steel or let's define brass and the top one we will choose your chamfer one one by 45 mm okay now that's it i'll choose your fillet point 5 mm i'll choose in both side okay let me save top cover oh sorry top seal now let's start to create the assembly of geared fidget spinner let's start to create the assembly of geared fidget spinner so i'll choose your new assembly okay and this is the solid works assembly window in your left left hand side it is asking you begin assembly select here browse in browse we will bring our first part so first part will bring top cover by default first part always fixed so i want to keep this one bottom side so what i will do float rotate and i'll keep like this okay now select right plane and fix first part always keep fix the other part will not move along with this okay better to add some spring here so go to design library toolbox once you will go to toolbox go to iso standard we will add some bearing here so select bearing ball bearing and here you can see angular contact ball bearing so drag up to this hole now see the bearing comes along with this hole now in left hand side you will see a property window now here we need to edit this is the first bearing now we need to change 828 this is the size of bearing now you can see here ball full and detail we will choose detailed now you can see in detailed also add cage show here full ball okay now it is asking you one more so sel simply select cancel it is already circular pattern so select this face and this face coincident okay that's it now it's time to add gear
gear to mat select this hole and bearing hole concentric relation okay and this face and this face coincident relation see okay let's bring gear 1 choose your mat select this hole and this hole concentric relation okay the back of gear and the top of cover coincident relation okay now here we created one relation even though you can press control key copy and drag here mat circle and this hole concentric bottom of this face and top of this coincident okay now all the gear is fixed in their position see now here we will add some more ball bearing in this one so just go to design library and this time we will go for another standard metric and see metric ball bearing and now here we will bring this one instrumental instrument ball bearing just drag up to this hole now you can see it's already matched the whole diameter even you can see the size 008024 this is the exact size and later you can add here full ball detailed select here add cage okay now we need one more bearing so it will ask you to add one more bearing so simply put one here cancel now select this one the top face and this face go inside this face and this face concentric relation and the, this face and this face coincident relation okay now let's start to create a gear mechanism or gear relation between these all gears so first what we will do first just place the gear in perfect position make little mat condition okay now let me hide this one and i'll hide this one also now just go to mat mechanical mat and choose your gear and in gear we need to show here temporary axis you have to find out the temporary axis for this gear so select this upper one a now this one clear we will do one more thing just hide all the body so that other things will not be visible let me hide this part also now 
now try mechanical mat gear first choose this one then second this one the ratio is both the gear have same diameter so keep both same okay okay now let's play now see how it's rotating keep closer now again apply mat mechanical mat gear and this time also select the center axis and this axis 30 by 30 okay okay now look let me hide this temporary axis and let me show all the component show show now look how the gear is rotating now where this gear gear 2 select top plane and we want to mirror this some component so select top plane and here you will find mirror component and for components choose the this frame and this bearing and top plane of this gear is selected select here next you can see the preview choose okay now look now even we can play see that's it now it's time to add some pin here uh no we will add one more component top seal mat choose circle and this hole concentric relation okay this face and this face now see now just select the top plane of this middle gear come mirror component and select this part choose next you can see the preview in opposite direction okay now it is mirror now everything is fine the only thing we need to do is we need to add some pin here 1 2 3 three holes we we have to add some pins so just go to design library and this time we will go for pin we will go for a din standard here you will find pins in pins we will go for rivets and at the bottom you will see one standard this one 7341 so this one just drag up to this hole now see size keep 8 flat counter sum and length make 30 and uh, let me choose grip length grip length now here let's uh, 20 by 18 mm okay and drag one more up to here cancel and let me drag one more for this center and this one the length will be bigger eight flat type counter sum length keep 30 and grip length 
28 millimeter okay we need only one so cancel this one choose mat select off face and this face go inside this is also just check okay this is also co centric so top face and this face coincident relation the last one coincident relation now okay now this is the our fidget spinner geared fidget spinner it is ready if we will rotate see let me select float and let me choose this one fixed now see it is rotating like this it is rotating with gear so this is this simple animation uh, fixed and select the gear float save this assembly right click here motion manager go to motion study and uh, choose your motion analysis or even 50 frame per second drag this one up to 10 second and motor now where we will apply the motor any face of the gear let me select this face keep reverse 20 revolution per minute okay calculate some we will keep this one basic motion let's try 10 revolution per minute cancel it and delete one gear we have two gears now apply two motors play now see it's playing so this is the our simple geared fidget spinner now see in this condition it is rotating we will make the another condition i hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video if you like to save this video simply select here save choose here first your destination avi file always be there and this is your name of the assembly and here the aspect ratio of video so i'll choose from here hdtv frame per second is very important if you keep more frame but it will take more time also save and simply select uncheck save now it is going to calculate from start to end it will save in your destination so this is the simple tutorial i hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video thanks for watching